Let my people go. We don't fear no whips, chains, wizards. We ain't scared of those. So my people, Israel, they had a slave in Egypt for about 400 years. Then God told me to pull up on Pharaoh like, yo, let my people go. So that Pharaoh going to be talking about some, let's go miracle for miracle right now. So I'm standing on business. I'm like, bet. So God turned my staff into a snake and then his sources did the same thing. Only one came out alive though. Let my people go before you dealing with the Lord of hosts. Pull up to the pyramid where heat I never need a stove. A lot of people kept asking me what I meant by Lord of hosts. That just means he got an army of angels ready to go. They ready to spin on any demon, pharaoh, king, anybody at any moment. Now, in the next bar, what temperature is the stove? Hot, right? Now, what temperature are these hollow tips? Okay, then. There you go. No, I'm not a blood, but you might drink it if you don't stop it. You might get some Kermit in your picture if you don't crop it. So when Pharaoh kept being stubborn, God said, bet, I need you to tell him I'm sending 10 plagues. So you know how they got the Nile River, right? That's where they got all their water from. First plague, boom, straight blood. Can't use it anymore. Second plague. So it'll be a few frogs here and there in Egypt, but nothing too crazy. Next day they wake up, it's frogs everywhere. I'm talking climbing in your windows, snatching your people up, hide your kids, hide your wife, everywhere. Shout out my boy Kermit. Had a show to see a dome, you gonna be begging them to wash it. Don't go military, you're gonna have to go and swat it. Plague number three, lice, gnats, whatever you want to call them. They was everywhere too, all over the people, all over the animals, all of your hair. And that's what he needed the head and shoulders for. <clears throat> they went on the sponsorship. <clears throat> Plague number four, flies. And not them cute little fruit flies, them big fat ones that stare at you and rub their hands together like Duke Dennis. Speaking of Mr. Dennis, who served in the military, I told Pharaoh to do that and to not go swat, right? Well, what do you do when you see a fly? What cow? So, boom, there you have it.